Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 17. We're in Goldcrest Valley, and we're kind of in one of those episodes where we're trying to find something to do while waiting for real things to do. I thought about maybe selling some of the sugar beets, but let me pop over to prices here. They're not worth a whole lot right now. This is their symbol right here and everything is just kind of neutral and blah. But we do have a good price waiting for us on sunflower seeds. I don't want to sell them all because we had to rent equipment to uh, uh, to be able to process them, to be able to harvest them. So we did sell off most of our soy which went right back to that uh, that price, that asking price. Remember, it had dropped between loads, but it's right back to, I think it was 1484 when we did it last time. But um, here's another example. I didn't even see this one. No, I get, is this the, is canola the uh, uh, the great demand that came in last time? It might have been, but you can see it's better to go here, so this isn't a great deal. But this one, what caught my attention, and I'm only thinking of doing one trailer load, you know, so we can save quite a bit of it to feed the pigs and do other things with it when we eventually do get pigs. But the exciting thing about this is that it can be delivered by train. I have not done that before. I want to see how that works. So let's dive into that. Um, that one is over here. Uh, there you are. So if we dump off over near the sheep farm, near field 11, and into the uh, loading bay there, and then dump that into a train. We should be able to drive a train out and dump into here. Let's see how that works. So yeah, this was the canola over here. Okay. Otherwise, to do, we're kind of waiting for the next round of growth, in which case we could get another fertilizing into here. A lot of clicking to be able to finish my sentence. <laughs> and then when this next round of growth happens, it'll also happen over here, and we could fertilize over here. Boy, I did miss quite a few spots. Yeah, a lot of random little uh, light blue marks in there. Otherwise, so there's two fertilizings to do, eventually, and there's uh, getting back over to the cattle area and putting a little more um, of the power food in. Um, that doesn't have to be done now. And then eventually another mowing right here and get some hay bales stored over here when the, I want to say that is barley. Barley is brown. That's barley. When this is done, we're going to straw that out. And that straw will head over to the cattle as well. So there's lots of things coming up as well as whatever the next poll is going to be in another episode or two. But for now... Yeah, let's go play with the uh, with let's go play with the train today. So again, that was sunflower, right? Yes, yeah, sunflower going to Maplefield Mill and one trailer full, so fifteen thousand. That'll leave us fourteen something. So what do we want to do? That's the escape button. All right, and we are low on fuel on this guy, so let's back him out and zoom out too, so I can see where I am. Let's go fill him up. I don't remember how much gas is left in this tank. Either there's going to be plenty, or it's going to go empty. Otherwise, grab a tipper over there, fill it up, and head over to field 11 with it. Boy, it takes a lot of fuel to fill this guy up. I was going to say gas, but I don't know if I'm dealing with diesel or what. Probably am. We'll go with fuel. I can't lose that way. And we filled it. So there's still something left in the, uh, the little portable tank there. Let's grab a tipper. Probably the easiest one to put back in. 
There he is. All right. Um, that's right. I'm going right over here. Yeah. <laughs> well, if I were to sneak through here. Oh, that was close. Yeah. We cleared this one. Can I still make this turn here? I'm going to lose, aren't I? I'm going to lose big time. Okay, that's not going to work. Let's sneak it around and this way. Okay. Right there. R brings this up. We're going for sunflower. Right there. And start. And 15,000 will fill the trailer. There we go. All right, off to field 11. And if there is still time after this is done, hit that 30, 35 minute mark. Maybe we'll bring a couple of grass bales over to the cattle to get ready to, or actually hay bales, to mix up the next batch of total uh, mixed rations. It's TMR, I'm always thinking TRM, total risk rations. That doesn't work. But um, that's all we're lacking over there to make one more batch and kind of top them off. Gotta turn that carefully when there's cars coming. There's a little grass on the ground we spilled. Oh, we did that when we drove through here. There's our, our swath of of destruction through the... Uh, over there to the right. Can't quite get it into view of uh, mowings right through the middle of the trees over there to the right. Anyway, let's roll through here. Drop this stuff off. And then figure out how to get into a train. So, a little further, let's dump out our little gate here. Let's see, that is, I'm thinking that was a U. Yeah, grain door. And then I? I. About halfway there. Pull him through and actually we'll just park him right here. A little off to the side a little bit. There we go. We need to get up there. Now it seems like the last patch they did something to this. I haven't been back here since. It was odd if I click here, it puts me in there. Hmm thought there was a way to go up there and then click, but maybe not. Anyway, we need to dump into this train here. So we need... Nope, it's not what I need. E? Yeah. What I need is to run the rail right there. Get into the engine. Ah, there we go. Now I'm not going to climb that one. Okay, we need to get the engine this way and get the grain car underneath this tube coming up. Now, which car is it? Boy, I've been holding the brakes for quite a while. So hopping up into that, uh, that crane over there, that just deals with, with logs. That's what I'm used to monkeying with. I haven't dealt with the grain yet. I'm going to guess the blue car is a green car. I may be wrong, and maybe this red one at the end of the other train. I mean, that makes sense, too. Huh. It needs to be one that we can dump, though. And I'm not seeing underneath the red car. Well, I wish I could get out here further. Anything that would dump. Whereas these blue ones here... Can I go back far enough? Do they? Yeah, they've got a 
bay underneath there, a door that may open up with that crank. So I'm thinking that's where the grain goes. If so, I should be able to hit R and choose sunflower seeds. Start. Ah, it worked. Of course, what filled up our little trailer is just going to barely coat the, uh, the floor of this thing. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> wonder what that would hold. Oh, there it is right there. 15,000 is only 12%. So what is that, like 8 times? Boy, 4 times. That's 120,000 liters-ish. Let's, let's take this over to the next stop and see what the next step is. I can already see we're going to have lots of time left. See, so yeah, I have to come up with something else to do this episode, too. There's our sunflower seeds. So one of these times, we're going to need to have a whole silo full and uh, take them over a little tray load at one time. Let's hop back in here. 38 miles an hour. I can't walk around in here. Hmm, can't jump to that seat. There's another drop-off point that will allow us to fill up the trains. I haven't touched the accelerator. Still rolling at 36. A lot of momentum here. The store is right over there, which means we're not that far away. Start applying these brakes. I think this is it. Yeah, right past the road there. So great in the track. This will act as a cell point. So that should be between seven and eight thousand dollars in sales here. Not a whole lot, but something fun to try. Well, the fun part is just getting that train car to stop over that point there. Now what? Does R do it here too? Does not. Does I for unload? It does. Boy, that was fast. Twenty-one thousand. I guess that's right. Yeah, half of half of forty-four thousand is twenty-two. That's what I that's what I was thinking. Okay, so we're at eighty-one thousand in the bank. We got to dump that. Didn't get to see it drop. It went so fast. Hmm. Okay, let's hop back in and there we go. Look at the controls of the train here. Same thing there, whether you're going forward or backward. The big red emergency stop button on top. At least that's, I'm guessing that's what that is. And this is the sawmill where if we had lo uh, a load of logs, we'd drop off and dump into that cell point right back there. Which is what we're going to do when we do choose to do logging for our hole, or this next one or the one after. Hey, we have... Uh, we have mirrors. I didn't realize there'd be mirrors in a train. But you just get the view of looking out. Alright, slow this down. Both tracks are merging. We'll stop this just before we hit the road over here. And that's a dump off point there too. We can dump it back into this mill or this storage point. Okay, full brakes. Yeah, let's back up a little bit. Sometimes a wayward tractor will miss the road there. Okay, you're done, and that adventure is over. Let's go find our tractor. <laughs> Random weed eater just sitting there. So next... Hmm... Well, there's a couple possibilities. We could do the uh, total mix rations, which we we did last-ish episode between that and the straw and the water, or we could go buy some fertilizer. Yeah, there is that. We did use the last of our liquid fertilizer. Okay, I'm going to be the uh, the impatient type here. I've only got 15 more minutes this episode. Theoretically. I haven't hit 30 minutes yet. 
but fertilizer and maybe a couple more seed, just because we go through those so much faster. Let's go look at the, uh, the supply over there. We need to remember to bring something that that has a uh, front loader on it, too. This tractor is not going to do it. need to drop this trailer too. Yeah, I'll tell you what, for the moment, let's just park it here. Now what's over here? So we could use some more seed if we're while we're at this. And then probably two more fertilizer and big ones, and I guess they're not gonna go here anymore. Where can we set those things? I don't think it's an issue with them being outside. They're in a big sealed plastic container. Speaking of, just got to thinking about knocking over those red barrels a few episodes ago. Yep, the elves did come put them back together. Where do we store liquid fertilizer? There's probably no reason why I can't go in that far corner back there. Next to the dry fertilizer. Yeah, I like that. Let's put this guy back, grab a, oh, I guess a case tractor, load up the front loader arm, hopefully there's a, a, a pallet fork here, yep, nope, that worked, yeah, it did work, and you've got fuel, okay, let's send you in this side, and do a 180 here. Get everybody nauseous. Now, what are you? You are Bale. And you are Pallet. Okay. So, let's see, I gotta go out a little wider. About there, right? That's a little iffy. There we go. Are we in yet? No. Nope. Bad angle. Okay, let's get this right. Further this way. And now go back in. Yeah, it's still off a little, but I think it's enough. I'm not getting the symbol. There's no mount on this one. <laughs> Never gonna get the signal. Okay. What choices do we have here? I thought we had them on all of them. Tell you what, from now on we will have them on all of them. It doesn't cost that much. And that's why we got this guy. Be able to do that very thing. Alright, customize you with the front loader attachment. $800. Customize, yes. And he turned off. But now we've got the, the bracket. Okay, let's go try that again. In fact, we'll do it this way. Boy, that exhaust stack is in a horrible place, isn't it? Well, I'm guessing we're in between them. There's the symbol. That's what I'm... Down there in the bottom right. Gotcha. Okay. Now I cannot see that pallet fork. He is on there. He is on there. Alright, so let's bring him up. Uh, like so. Turn him down. Something like that to transport ought to be good. Alright, let's grab the trailer. do the other right. Yeah, that one. That's what I meant. And where are you? Right there. And off to the store we go. So, what other ideas are there for the next poll? It's going to be, I have a feeling by next episode we will be, 
Oh, speaking of, turn my speed back up to five. There we go. So we can get to the next round of fertilizing and all that. But next episode is probably going to be fertilizing those two fields. I'm guessing. And then maybe topping off the cattle feed. And maybe even going out and just kind of general cleaning up of the uh, sheep and cattle. Otherwise, I just realized I haven't gone to the store from this side for a long time. I've always taken the, the 25 mile an hour back route over there. Um, otherwise, once those are done, we're going to have a little bit of a pause waiting for everything to be ready to harvest, right? No, I'll take that back. We're not. Because the next um, uh, phase of growth not only allow us to fertilize those two fields, one of those fields is the grass field. So we'll be able to get one more round of grass in and try one more time to fill up our, our silage bay. Yeah, so that's probably what's going to happen next time. But after all of that is done, logging is, an, is something I want to get into. I want to get into it in a bigger way than we've done before. Not filling up this trailer, but filling up the big logging trailer with as long a tree as we can as we can get in there. You're gonna come up alongside me, aren't you? Okay. As soon as red car passes, I'm grabbing that lane. Um, pigs. That's still a, a good option. We've still got most of the feed necessary to do that. Blinker, blinker, blinker. Whoa, that was a fast turn. I can't reach my blinker button, so I'm just saying blinker, blinker, blinker. <laughs> now that's all going to appear over here. Let's set this guy like over here. Well, the trailer itself. About like that. Eh. Yeah, something like that. Otherwise, we'll drop you over here. Scare that guy. Scare me. And let's go buy some stuff. Otherwise, besides pigs and logs, what else do we want to get into that would be a valid option? I can do up to five things in a poll, and I don't have a whole lot of letters to describe them, so I have to do a lot of abbreviating. Pallets, we want... Let's get four of these guys. Well, that's right, I can't... This is one thing I wish they would fix. I wish I could say four. There we go. Seed. I'm just looking at this right here. We shouldn't need this. The sweet potatoes will take the place of the... No, the sugar beets will take the place of the potatoes. But I mean, that's that fills out that group. What we don't have is corn. So this would provide some corn when we get to pigs. We'll see. Corn is something I wish we can get into, but that requires a brand new harvester. And that was big money. Big time money. So really, that probably doesn't fit a pole anymore. That fits a sail. When that happens, then I need to definitely go and do some, uh, uh, some contracting work and get $330,000 so we can get that going. Um, that's enough for there. I was thinking about getting, you know, doing this this episode and playing with the sweet the sugar beets, but they weren't worth anything, so it wasn't worth the effort. Nothing else really to get right now, right? Nothing that would go onto a flatbed trailer. Okay. So back and let's load these guys up. And that should pretty much kill the rest of this episode and me if it goes badly. All right, you down, you something like that. Let's see if I can put into play all that I have learned. Like hitting it straight to begin with. Alright. Zoom in here. What have we got? We've got about the right height. So can I curve in a little bit more? Nope. There we go. You're in. Tilt. Lift. Actually lift quite a bit. Whoa! A rear weight would be good for this tractor. He's doing some forward tipping. 
Now, let's go to the front. Work from the front to the back. Hmm. I'm just... This bar here is kind of... Kind of annoying on this tractor... On this trailer. This little diagonal bar here. I'm not going to get these two at a time. In fact, I might not get all these on this trailer. So... Yeah, I'm not lined up properly. Let's... Interesting. I'm floating. It's the weight with, with ha without having a weight on the tractor. We could buy a weight. I was wanting to have an excuse to pick up a second one. Let's get you down. Tilt. Can I back off? Down a little lower. Not really. Let's push you back in a ways. Okay. We're having some problems. You're loose. A little further. Yeah. I think I'm on that bar. Okay. Up. Let's just go out a little further from the end. Okay. Something like that. Let's get you level. Oh, I see. No, I'm not hitting. I am hitting right there, though. Okay. I have to get more creative, then. And after this, we're going to go pick up a weight from the store. So I'm doing way too much wobbling. I'm thinking we're going to drop this off about like so. It clears the diagonal there. And then we'll use another one to push him into place. Although if I do that, I may not be able to get back in to get him off. We'll see. But that should sit better. Yeah. Now we're hitting where we should. You flat. Up. No. Right there. There he is. Okay. Let's grab a weight. What do we already have? Waiting for the garage to say one. I think it's, yeah, it's this guy. So we've got a 700 pound. I'm assuming that's what that means. Let's grab a thousand. We'll select you and buy. Okay. That may be too much for this tractor, but it's what I would want to have for the bigger tractors we're going to get later. That seemed like the most reasonable one to spend money on for a backup one. Can I sneak in there and grab that? There we go. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, looks like we're kind of lining up with that one, so we'll go with that one. All right. You want to be right about there. I've got my fingers in the wrong spots. I'm trying to push it backward and drive forward. <laughs> it's not working. Obviously, to accomplish this job within a 30 minute video is not possible. I'm going to do a couple of these, and then I'll cut away, and we'll be finished. I don't think I'd get much closer than that. I make contact? Make contact with something. Let's just do that. There he goes. And we're down. Flatten. Back out. Alright. So I'll be back in a moment once that's loaded and we'll take this back to the farm. Okay, so coming up on the last one here. There we go. Did manage to get them to fit. And lined up with this guy. The way I put these in is I use this one to push that one into place. And usually it works well. I've had it go wrong before. <laughs> 
Like so. Okay, get him close. Bring it down like that. Slowly push him in. Don't catch the next row like that. Okay, we can still fix that. Alright, right there. Just a touch. Is that angle good? Let's find out. Can I back out? I can. Okay, let's go fix that one. And I just got to thinking about something. I'm sure many of you have already thought of it. You're probably thinking to yourselves, how's he going to get that weight home? Where is he going to hook the trailer to? <laughs> Can't put it on the front. i got a pallet fork there. Can't put it on the back. I've got a trailer there. So... Let's see, I want to catch this edge right here. Like that. Alright, I'm happy with that. So, what I think I'm going to do with the weight... Let's see, let's get this guy where he belongs. About like that. Let's set this guy on the ground. So, G to there and Q. And let's see, Let me get my pedals working here. That's a good angle right there. Let's put this guy on the ground. V and Q. Now I'm only guessing this is going to work. No, I don't have a front. Okay. Hmm. I was going to lift it up and put it into there. I wonder if the pallet fork will interact with it at all. It probably will not. Let's just check that out. Oh, there I am. Let's just verify that it's not a thing I can do here. Yeah. Will not. Okay. So you're out. And I can't lift him up high enough with this guy to drop him in the trailer. Okay. So, yeah. I'm not going to be able to bring him home just yet. So, in that case, let's back up, pick him up, put him somewhere responsible. Where are you? There you are. Boy, almost. Almost. What is the height? There's no way I can finagle this thing to work, right? If I were to remove one of those and put them in a different place? No. But there is a trailer hitch there. That's really... Oh! There's a trailer hitch there! Okay, we got to find out. Does that work? Where's the trailer hitch? There it is. Where's the trailer? There's a trailer. We don't need a PTO. Well, we look at that. That's how we're going to get it home. Okay. Um, but first, I got so excited. Now, hmm, Klaus told me about a way to release all the straps at once, but it's been so long, I don't remember what it was. And I, don't, and I don't know if it also fastens in bulk. So I guess we'll just do it the hard way. Um, no others over here? No. So we're going to get every other one. Got that one. Yep, that'll get us home. And we're ready. We'll take the back road home this time. I'm jumping cab, but I want to watch how it goes around the corner here. Always fun to watch the animations. Watch that, that dolly in the front track properly. I think we can make it. Okay. Let's hop in here and make the trip home. 
Oh wow, gotta really hold the brakes down to get this load to stop. an hour. Now we're holding at eight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I think we will just park this guy and I'll go ahead and unload off camera. Yeah, I'll be fine. Next time we'll dive into whatever is next. I had turned uh, time down a little bit so we've got at least one more episode before it gets dark. But go ahead and getting running at five again and it'll trip over to the next something before I unload though I will check to see how that's going if it turns out that nothing is tripped then we'll do the unloading on camera next time too bad there isn't an obvious countdown for the next phase of growth that would make things easier Most of it's, well, going into both places, actually. So we'll, uh, we'll do something like that. All right. Well, this has been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching me uh, try to load pallets. <laughs> That's always a challenge in this game. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe if you would. And I will catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.